I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about U substitution. In problem number 43, we'd like to use substitution to integrate the integral from negative 1 to 2 of x squared times e to the x cubed plus 1 dx. All right, so again, the first thing we always have to decide is what should be the u substitution, and by now we should be getting pretty good at guessing what the substitution should be. We're looking for something whose derivative shows up, and also that is maybe a function within a function. And the only thing I see here that is a function within a function is x cubed plus 1, because it is ra e is raised to the x cubed plus 1. So x cubed plus 1 makes a good choice for u. So we have u is equal to x cubed plus 1. If that's my u, then du is equal to 3x squared dx. And you'll notice I don't have a 3x squared dx. I have an x squared dx. So to compensate for that, I want to write a 3 in here but also multiply by a one-third outside to be just multiplying by one. So let's rewrite this. So this is equal to, I said I want a three on the inside, so I'm going to have a one-third on the outside. So I have negative one to two of three x squared times e to the power x cubed plus one dx. Now I'm ready to make my substitution. So let's move this right here. I'm going to make my substitution. I still have that one-third sitting on the outside of the integral. So let's write that in first. And now I have integral of e to the u. This is e. x cubed plus 1 is u. So I have e to the u power and then 3x squared dx, 3x squared dx, all of that is du. So I just write in du. Okay, I'm almost there. Now I need to change my limits of integration. Right now I'm in x world that lives between x is negative 1 and x is 2. Now I'm in u world and where, does, where do the u's live? Well, if x is minus 1, what is u? I come up here and I say, okay, if x were minus 1, minus 1 cubed is minus 1, plus 1 is 0. So this is a 0. Also, I take 2. x goes all the way up to 2. If I plug 2 in up here, I get 2 cubed, which is 8, plus 1, which is 9. So instead of integrating from negative 1 to 2, now I'm integrating from 0 to 9. Now I'm ready to take my antiderivative. So let's do it. I get 1 third. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u, and that's going to be evaluated from 0 to 9. I can go ahead and plug things in, and I get one-third e to the ninth minus, plug in zero, and I get one-third e to the zero. Of course, e to the zeroth power is one, so I could rewrite this again. This is one-third times e to the ninth minus one-third times one. So just minus a third. And that is our antiderivative or the solution to our integral. 